What is going on, mini war gamers? This is Blue Ridge War Gaming back with uh, basically um, 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 another um, topic, food for thought type of video. So, uh, in one of my last videos, I was asking uh, the community if uh, they believe that Storm Vermin for Skaven, um, in specifically Age of Sigmar or uh, Warhammer Armies Project, uh, if, if you people do play that. Um, I definitely know what my, uh, opinion is as far as 8th edition goes, but, um, still very opinionated in, uh, Warhammer Army's project and Age of Sigmar as far as the topic of Skaven go. Um, but, uh, I will say, uh, as far as that goes, um, I'm still kind of in the gray area. I want Storm Vermin to be so good, uh, but in my opinion, uh, it's just specific scenarios that they shine, um, and for the most part, uh, they do wind up just being a really expensive target, uh, for your enemies. Um, so rolling with that, I was hoping to bring up another topic of discussion. Uh, this will be for High Elves players, um, Phoenix Guard or Swordmasters? Which do you prefer? So I've played a few games uh, with Phoenix Guard, and I will tell you the, survivab the survivability of Phoenix Guard is phenomenal. Um, talk about an expensive piece, but, like, man, you really can't beat that for a ward. Uh, it's just so good. Um but I love Swordmasters. Uh, so, as far as the game type goes, um, it's very, very, very specific and very important because the uh, the way that they those units actually behave in Age of Sigmar versus um, Warhammer's Armies Project or uh, Warhammer Fantasy 8th, 7th, 6th, I don't know much about 5th, but you know, uh, they all behave differently. One thing that I will say with the Age of Sigmar uh, is I believe that much, much more of it is based off of synergy um, and stacking and proximity uh, to buff and boost and, and things like that. Whereas you do have a, a little bit of that with uh, Warhammer Fantasy and then also Warhammer Armies Project. Um with things like uh, being within the uh, Inspiring Presence bubble, or um, range, it's not technically a bubble, but I guess it is, uh, you know, extending to 18 if you're on a dragon, something like that, uh, but that really is usually just for the aspect of leadership, uh, whereas in uh, Age of Sigmar, um, you get things like extra attacks. Uh, if there is a phoenix uh, within a certain proximity, um, it gives benefits, uh, whether it be uh, magical resistance um, or um, re-rolling attacks, uh, you know, something of the sort. Sorry, helping my cat real quick. But um, I am torn because uh, I kind of think Swordmasters w might wind up being the better option um, unless you have phoenixes. And even then, as far as the phoenixes go, uh, I would say probably that's just for um, Age of Sigmar that I would use um, Phoenix Guard over top of, uh, or instead of using my Swordmasters. Um, and on top of that, uh, a next layer to this topic of discussion um, would be if you do prefer um, one over the other, uh, and if it's not just entirely situational, like if you're just like, dude, just go Phoenix Guard all day, honestly, it doesn't even matter uh, if you have the Phoenix or not. If you do, that's cool, but they just wreck everything. So, like, you know, they're, they're good for staying alive. Uh, you can, you know hope that they don't wind up running away. But the next layer of uh, discussion will be, how do you run them? Um, you know, if you do find them to be 
viable, the Sword Masters or the Phoenix Guard. Or hey, you might be crazy and, and, and field both in the in the same list in a really, really small point count uh match. Who knows? But um I personally, uh for um the uh Warhammer Armies project sorry my cat's trying to get my attention um would be multiple small units um that way i can sort of fan out and then if somebody does try to hit them with everything they got um then they'll wind up um losing their particular effectiveness the opponent towards me uh hopefully will lose their effectiveness because um as you all may know if you put all of your effectiveness into one unit, that unit can still only do one behavior or action or function per turn. And if you have a limited amount of turns, then that, even though it's like a high effectiveness, it reduces your ability to affect, uh, which I'm sure most of you understand already. But um, I would run... Sword masters in uh, 30 of them, three units of 10. Um, honestly, uh, as far as the command goes, um, I might put in a banner. I might put in a champion, but unless I'm doing a big block uh, for the sword masters or um, I'm planning on having them be uh, a form of anvil. Um, cause they just mince stuff. Like if, 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 if somebody charges on the sword masters, depending on the game type, they, it still might not be a really good idea, even though as elves in general, um, when you're facing elves, you want to do everything in your power to make sure that they don't complete a charge because there's just so many benefits that, uh, elves tend to get. Uh, and since they're such glass cannons if you're able to hit them before they hit you then that's everything because they have a lot of ability to hit you before you hit them <laughs> um which is probably why a lot of people hate elves because um it's like skaven level of rule breaking or like trickery cunning like whatever you want to call it but they're just elite <laughs> just really good cunning, backstabby, um, you know, units, but, uh, I'll, I'll run multiple small units, uh, I, I will field as many bolt throwers as possible, and then, um, I will basically try to put in as many Illyrian Reavers as possible, and then supplement the rest of my forces with Bowmen, um, I might put in a unit of uh, 20 to 40 spearmen, just depending on how big the uh, the game type is. Uh, very rarely will I run um, units of 20 spearmen. And if I do, uh, for elves, um, I find that, uh, depending on the point count, of course, but um, you have to make room for those extra attacks. Um, so if you only have, let's say, 15 spearmen, um, as soon as they start dying, then they're probably not going to last long, but if you keep them alive, then they're probably still going to do a lot of damage. Um, but I would usually run, on average, one unit of 30 spearmen, or two units of 20 spearmen. Um, I don't think I've ever actually run a, a 40 block for, for high elves, um, you know, usually when it just gets to that point, um, I'll still just settle at 30 and then use the extra points to, um, buff up a hero, lord, you know, what, whatever. Um, uh, something that I've also found, uh, with playing high elves and, uh, could be, I guess, like a third layer to this topic, um, would be, um... Oh man, I'm spacing. Mm, 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 mm. 
after that. All right, guys. Well, um, that was uh, the discussion. So, um, All right, guys, well, that was the discussion, and uh, I'm excited to hear what you all think uh, as far as the um, Phoenix Guard versus the Sword Masters. Uh, a third layer to that could be um, when you do run them, do you run them with uh, full command, or uh, do you only give them a banner, or only give them a champion for that extra attack? Uh, that would be kind of like the third question. Um, but hey uh thanks for watching the video thanks for taking part in the community um please do uh check out our discord uh try to be part of that community we also have a facebook page and a reddit page um or we're active on reddit but if you could uh become a discord member uh start uh basically conversations in the chat um, basically the entire point of Blue Ridge Wargaming is I am trying to get the East Coast of the United States talking together, um, and, uh, have a way so that when people are traveling up and down, maybe for work or just for, um, uh, leisure, uh, then they can hopefully meet up with people and, uh, have games, uh, without having to be fully invested in a click community and then uh kind of only have them as their avenue um because uh you know it's something that this game loves is this game loves friends and foes <laughs> so um also uh we do um uh tabletop simulator so if you want to uh have a match or if you have a match that you would like to have me uh collaborate on like uh Either if you want to talk about a specific scenario, uh, some narration, uh, a little breakdown of, you know, maybe, you know, hey, we did this this way, uh, this is why, but, you know, just any, any form of that, um, I'm definitely all here for that. Um, really, uh, I grew up in a small town where Warhammer was super cool, and uh, basically I never got a chance to play it growing up. Now, uh, I have chances to play it all the time, and I have played a bunch, as you can see on the channel, but um, right now, just with moving, uh, it's making it a little bit more difficult to get legitimate matches out without it being on um, Tabletop Simulator, which I don't mind Tabletop Simulator, but uh, it is still nice to meet people in person and actually roll the dice and, you know, that whole bit. But, uh, so... Uh, link in the description. Please uh, join our Discord. Please start a conversation and keep on wargaming. Peace.